As some members of Congress shut down the government, their motivating reason, Obamacare, came online and took effect. 2.8 million Americans and counting have checked the government website for their options. There are reports of some technical glitches, some delays, but we wondered how hard was it to get answers about future coverage? ABC's Paula Ferris spent the day checking with some Americans doing just that today. Hi, my name is uh, Max Dinette. Remember Max Dinette from last night? He was dropped from his health insurance because of his pre-existing condition. I just want to have that safety net. He was excited to sign up today, but couldn't get online because the website kept crashing. Same for many others inundating the government's new health care website. Uh-oh, got a message that said health care insurance marketplace is busy. Please wait. I was not successful. Um, there seems to be a, a small glitch. But this family managed to get through. Salon owners Vanessa and Ahmad of California say they've been living in fear. Right now we don't have insurance and uh, we're pretty much confused and scared. A pre-existing condition for one of their girls made insurance unaffordable. It just you know, it's way too much right now. But the big question, how affordable are the plans? Our health care expert, Michelle Katz, puts them to the test with our salon owner, Vanessa. So let's go to the shop and compare tool, and then let's press get started. Taking us step by step through the site, first you type in your zip code, age, dependents, and income, and you get instant plans. All your plans are listed here. Depending on the level of coverage you want. We have the bronze, the silver, the gold, and the platinum. When Vanessa previously shopped around for her family of four, she was quoted $2,000 a month. Today, she found a plan for just $427. How was that process? It was really easy. Actually. Sounds easy, but Michelle says there's a catch. If you look at the fine line over here, it says at least one visit yearly. The website does not list many details, and with many of these plans, premiums are low, but deductibles are high. These are questions you need to, you're not going to find this out on the website. We tried contacting their California state-run website this morning, and we're still waiting. So in the meantime, before you sign up, here are the four questions you should ask any potential provider. What is the maximum I'll pay per year? what doctors and hospitals are in the plan, how many visits are included each year, and are my prescriptions covered? For Vanessa and her family, the choice is easy. I'm going to sign up. And do you feel comfortable with that decision? Yes, I do. Now, if you do not have health insurance, you have 181 days or until March 31st to enroll before the government finds you. However, if you want your coverage to kick in January 1st of 2014, <laughs> you have to purchase a plan by December 15th. But Diane, I just spoke with the White House. They are, quote, incredibly pleased with the amount of traffic on that website. All right. Thank you, Paul. I know you'll be following. Yes, we will. Day.